Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another review. Today we're looking at the Lucid Sound LS30 gaming headset. Now I first saw Lucid Sound at the Gadget Show this year and they brought something new to the table which was a form of gaming headset which also had some better looks than generally what we see on the market. This has capabilities to work with PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, PC and also your mobile phone. You've also got two different colour options, we've got white and gold and also black and silver which is what we've got to show you today. Now the LS30 has got a whole host of different features that I'm going to cover in depth in the video but first let's run through a few of the specs. So this is using 50mm speakers with a frequency response of 20 to 20 kHz, which is generally what we see on audio headsets not gaming ones so that's got an even bigger frequency range than what we usually see. There's also three EQ modes on there which are changeable by a button and then you also get an audio feedback for that as well. It's wireless with a rechargeable battery via a micro USB port. You've got a battery life to up to 15 hours so you're going to get a nice long playtime with this. You've got built in microphone monitoring as well which is another thing you generally don't see on gaming headsets. If you're going to be doing commentaries for example this is going to be great so you're going to know if you're talking too loud or not. And there's also a nice little visual audio indicator for when you're muted on your microphone as well. Speaking of which, that microphone is removable and there's a nice little cover if you wanted to use it just for headphones while you're out and about. And there's also some nice easy options for controlling your game sound and your voice right on the headset itself, which we'll cover a little bit further on in the video. So let's cut the box open and show you what we've got inside. Taking off the sleeve, we've got an inner box with a Lucid Sound logo. That's a nice gift style presentation box. On the left hand side, we've got a nice big quick start guide to get you up and running in no time at all. Then to the right, we've got the headphones presented. Where you can see the Lucid Sound logo, that's actually a compartment which houses all the additional cables for the different methods of setting this up with your game consoles. So first we've got the wireless adapter. Second up we've got some little covers if you don't use the microphone you can cover that over. Then a 3.5 to a 2.5mm connection cable, a micro USB cable for charging, a 3.5mm cable if you're going to just use it for audio from your mobile phone for example, an optical cable, the detachable microphone, and then we've got a nice Lucid Sound sticker as well. On each side of the headset we've got the Lucid Sound logo. These are also buttons for controls, we'll go into that in a minute. This is a plastic that has been given a lovely silver brushed effect. Now on the bottom of the left ear cup we've got the power button which has an LED above it. There's the micro USB port for charging, the 3.5mm connection for the wired option if you're going to play back music from your mobile and then below that is where our microphone is going to go. Simply a case of pressing and holding the power button to turn it on once you've connected your USB stick, then those will pair together. We'll cover that in a moment. There's an up close shot of the 3.5mm in and also the micro USB port, which is where you're going to connect to recharge the inbuilt battery. There's a limited amount of rotation with the air cups. You can't fold them quite so much that you can lay it down flat, but there is a nice amount just to get it, you know, kind of comfortable on your ears. And the clamping force, while it's over your head, is strong, but not to a point where it's uncomfortable. And then you've also got full adjustability of both of the ears. So if you've got a big head like mine, you're going to have no issue using it whatsoever. Now the headband's nice leather stitched, a fair amount of padding, then the ears is where you've got some really good padding there, uh, very comfortable to wear. On the top we've got the Lucid Sound written logo, I really do like that, it's a very nice little touch, it looks very stylish. On the left ear is where we're going to get the options to adjust the game volume, obviously it's quick and on the fly so you don't have to go into your sound controls, then pressing the button in the middle will mute the game. The right control is for the chat volume and then the button on the right hand side operates the microphone mute. On the bottom of the right ear cup is where we find our EQ modes. We've got three different options on there for that. The first one is normal mode, the second is bass boost and then the third is a treble boost. Now the microphone simply goes onto the bottom of the earphones and you've got full adjustability of it. And one thing I really do like is then when you press the mute on the right ear cup, the actual microphone lights up blue to show it's muted. That's a really cool feature. And that's something that I haven't seen on headsets, but this is a great option. And you don't even have to check to see if your microphone is muted. You can easily see it in your peripheral vision, so you don't even have to look down for it. It's really quite nifty. When you're not using the microphone, you can easily put one of the small rubber covers over it to protect it from getting any gunk in there. So moving on to the adapter, this is what we're going to use to connect our consoles to the headset and your PC for that matter as well. For the PC it's just a simple case of plugging the USB port in and then the headset will pair itself together within seconds, literally plug and play. Now using it on the consoles is slightly different, you need to use the optical cable into the side of the adapter, then plug the USB receiver into one of the ports on your console, so it will give the power to the USB adapter, then the wireless signal, then the optical cable is where you get your source of sound. So here's the different options that are available, it will vary from console to console, but the premise is very similar. 
just using that audio cable into the side of the adapter that then sends the signal to the headset. When you're all set up, the USB does pulse when it's looking for the headset. When you've turned the headset on, it will go a solid blue color to indicate it's paired. Once you've plugged it in and set it up, then you're literally good to go. I've used this for a number of gaming sessions over the last few weeks and it's been absolutely fantastic. Personally for me the second setting of the EQ which is the bass boost has been my favourite. They do say that the third which is the treble boost is more aimed towards getting you know footsteps of players um, but personally for me I found that to be great on the second one as well for the bass boost. I do like bassy things so when you're playing kind of Call of Duty for example, Battlefield, all those explosions are really nice and deep with bass in your ears. And I found that mode to be great for hearing players as well. Um, also playing Fallout 4 was great. It gets you a really immersive experience. Especially when you hear those uh, feral ghouls wandering about. You can exactly pinpoint where they are. So you can easily turn around and take them out. The microphone is pretty good quality for a gaming headset. I would like to see an option to turn the real live microphone monitoring off fully. So maybe you turn it right down then it will turn it off. Rather than having to have the microphone muted. That's another option they could put in there. I do like the quick on the fly adjustments for each ear cup. That's very handy and it saves you going through all the options in your PC. And then there's just looking at music as well with a 3.5mm connection. Really great all around audio. Uh, the frequency range of 20Hz to 20kHz works really well. Just like we'd see on a normal pair of audio headphones. Very well balanced on sound. Very immersive experience. And for me, this is my personal favourite gaming headset I've used so far. Um, so this is kind of setting the benchmark for me personally on gaming headsets. And I'm looking forward to seeing what else Lucid Sound will offer further down the line. So if you want to get yourself one of these awesome headsets, I will put the link in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video and haven't already, please consider subscribing. Thanks for Lucid Sound for sending this out for me to review. And I'll catch you all in the next video.